I'm going to work through a few problems from the Math 3, Unit 1, Worksheet 3 on writing equations. So in number 1 through 9, we're asked to write the equation for each of the following graphs. So there's a process here, which, which you're first going to want to do is to identify the, the, what kind of equation would create that shape of the graph. So on number 1, notice that there is a, um, a horizontal asymptote um, up at 3. This is a, the line y equals 3. And uh, we got this um, exponentially growing equation, uh, sorry, graph. And so this is going to be an exponential function. So then you want to be familiar with the general form of an exponential function. And so we're really working with the basic one, and this, the general form we're going to work with is y equals some base uh, to some power. This is the parent graph. without any translations. Next, um, you want to translate. Translate the parent graph. And so, uh, remember the parent graph would go through the point zero, 01. It looks something like this. Okay, And so, what we're going to look at and compare is this parent graph point with the point that would be in the same position. And that's, if you look at those two points, you're going to see your translation. So it's been translated to the left, one, two, three, four, and up three. So left four, up three. Always start with the parent graph point. Um, to the point, the graph you're looking at. So by incorporating that translation, I'm now going to rewrite a, a general equation incorporated in that translation. So y equals b. We don't know what b is yet, but instead of x, I'm going to put x plus 4, because that moves it to the left 4. And then a plus 3, that's not in the exponent, to move it up 3. So the x plus 4, that's in the exponent the plus 3 is not part of the exponent. So we're almost done with writing this equation. All we need to find out now is what is b. And so that's what this, uh, this next point is right here. And so find the coordinate of that point, which is negative 1, 2, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. and plug in negative 2 for x and 7 for y and then solve for b. So we get 7 is equal to b to the power of negative 2 plus 4 plus 3 and uh, work with negative 2 plus 4 so we got 7 equals b to squared plus 3. Um, subtract 3 from both sides of the equation and we end up with 4 equals b squared. And so what squared is 4? Well it could be 2 squared or it could be negative 2 squared. But when we work with exponential functions we're all going to work with positive bases. So b squared equals 4. If you take the square root uh, we're going to only work, work with the positive square root, and then we get b is 4. So now we found b. Remember, we're trying to write the equation. So we're going to go back to what I'm circling here, plug the 4 into b, and so our final answer is y equals 4 to the x plus 4 plus 3. And if you want, you can put parentheses around that x plus 4. 
to number four now. So we first identify what we're looking at. Look at the shape and what, e what kind of equation gives that shape. This is linear absolute value. Then think about the parent graph equation. And what we know is this is y equals some number times the absolute value of x. And then think about the translation. So the parent graph is that you know you have this point at 0, 0, and opens up, you got that V shape. So it's obviously translated. So look at the vertex of your parent graph and ask yourself how far to the right and how far up do we have to go. So we're going right three up two. So for the translation, right three up two. And so I'm gonna rewrite y equals a, we're not sure what a is, times the absolute value of x minus three, that gives that moves us right three, and then plus two at the end moves us up two. And uh, so the last thing we need to find is what is a. So that's what the, so don't pick a point that's not your vertex or not your, you know, the, where the parent graph point was. So we're gonna use this uh, point that they give us at one, five. So plug in 1 for x and 5 for y. And work through this, we get 5 equals a times an absolute value of negative 2 plus 2. Absolute value of negative 2 is positive 2, so this is 5 equals a times 2 plus 2. A common mistake here at this point is to add the 2 and 2. We can't do that because order of operations says you have to multiply before you add. So we have to multiply a times 2 first, but that's a problem because we don't know what a is. But bottom line is don't add the 2 and 2. You will get the wrong answer. So how do we do this? We subtract 2 from both sides. And we end up with 3 equals a times 2 and then divide by two. And so you get three over two is A. So plug in the three over two for A, and our final answer is Y equals three over two, absolute value of X minus three plus two. That is the equation of the graph that is drawn there. Number five. Notice it's a line, or linear. The parent graph. Is y equals something times x. You could put m times x, or a times x. I'll do m times x. Um, if you remember, m is your slope. Look at the translation. So. The parent graph goes through 0, 0. And on the line, it really doesn't matter which point you choose. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look at these two points that I'm circling. And so I go down 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right, 2. So translate. Down 5, right, 2. And so to incorporate that translation, I get y equals m times x. So you gotta do the right two first. So right two, that would be minus two. And down five would be minus five. And then we need the slope. You can do this two different ways. You can, if you rem recall how to find slope, you can say, well, I go up two, right three, so two thirds my slope and you can change m to two-thirds or you can 
use the point that we haven't used yet, which is at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, down 3, and plug 5 in for x, negative 3 for y, and solve for m. Both will work. I'll show you that this works. So negative 3 equals m times 5 minus 2 minus 5. parentheses you get m times 3 minus 5 just as we said in number 4 do not do 3 minus 5 because the 3 is multiplied with m and we can't subtract before we multiply so what we do here is we add 5 to both sides and get 2 is equal to m times 3 and then divide by 3 and you get m is 2 thirds and so our final answer it's going to be y equals 2 thirds times x minus 2 minus 5. Take a look at number 9. Number 9 we have a parabola which, is, which comes from a quadratic. Um, so be familiar with what the parent graph looks like. So this is y equals some number, I'll use a, times x squared. But remember the parent graph has a vertex at 0, 0, so we have been translated down 1, 2, 3, 4. So now our equation is y equals something times now we haven't moved left or right, so it stays x squared, but put the minus 4 at the end because we've moved down 4. And then to find out what a is, use the point that's not the vertex, or not the point, the translated parent graph point, which is at 1, 2, 3, negative 1. Plug in negative 1 for y and 3 for x. I'm going to square the 3. Hopefully at this point you're realizing don't subtract 9 and 4 um, because it's 9 times a. You have to multiply before you subtract. So instead add 4 to both sides of the equation. You get 3 is a times 9 divide by 9, and you end up with a is 3 over 9, which reduces to 1 third. So plug that back in, and so our equation is y equals 1 third x squared minus 4. Last one I want to do with you is number 11. The instructions are to find and simplify f of x plus g of x and then to sketch it. So when you add the two functions together you'll get a third function. So let's see what we have. We have f is with 2x squared minus 7x plus 3 and we want to add that with g which is 2x times 3 minus x. So the first thing we're going to have to do is distribute the 2x with 3 minus x. And we end up with, we're going to rewrite the 2x squared minus 7x plus 3 plus 2x times 3 is 6 times x and 2x times negative x is negative 2x squared. Then we want to combine like terms we have a positive 2x squared and a negative 2x squared. When you add those together, you get 0. We got a negative 7x and a positive 6x. When you add those together, you get negative x. And then we get a positive 3. So y equals negative x plus 3 is what we want to graph. Notice it's linear. And 
um, it's translated up 3. So the parent graph point is at 0, 0, but we move it up 1, 2, 3. And we just need uh, to find some other points. So if I pick maybe the x equals 1, plug that in, I end up with y equals negative 1 plus 3, which is 2. So 1, 2. And if I pick the point uh, 2, I end up with y equals negative 2 plus 3, which is positive 1. And you see they line up, and there's my graph.